What's up, Aries? Love forecast for you guys for what's coming in in the first half of May. That's May 1st through till the 15th. This is for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also, guys, I do offer personal readings, and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. Okay? Let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in, please, for my Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the area of love, first half of May? Any love messages for Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of May. What can you tell my Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is coming in for them in the area of love, first half of May. Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Temperance card, Six of Swords, Hermit. Aries, you're taking a little bit of distance from a situation or you're dealing with someone that's very distant. Okay, there's a sense of, you know, feeling left out in the cold. Someone here is feeling left out in the cold with that Five of Pentacles, okay? Some of you could work with this person, but you have a romantic connection. Um, but that's just some of you. Others of you... It's almost like perhaps there's some outside energies, okay, with the Three of Pentacles. So it could be that, you know, there's there's a couple of people around, okay, maybe there's one particular person that you're connected to and either you or them is feeling left out in the cold. With the Temperance card, this could be someone that you've been connected to for some time. Um, the connection, it could be testing your patience a little bit because maybe it's not getting to where you want it to get to because, like I said, it's like maybe there's outside energies or you know, someone feels left out in the cold for some reason, okay? It's like things aren't coming to fruition. Tell me about the temperance card, please, spirit. King of Cups, yeah, okay. But there is love between you and this person. Could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And the Fool card, okay? And it's like timing's been a factor with this person, Aries, okay? So it's like, it could be that, you know, you do feel a bit left out in the cold with this person, but there is this sense of having love. And there's also this sense of wanting to take a leap towards a new cycle or, or, or a leap maybe into a commitment, right? But it's just taking a long time. With the Six of Swords, it's about moving into calmer waters, okay? I do feel like, you know, whatever trouble that you're experiencing, Aries, is like moving forward and moving ahead for better. With the Hermit card, I think you're doing some heavy soul searching about what you really want. And you are maybe considering sailing away completely from this connection, okay? For some of you, you're dealing with someone that lives at a distance, but that's just for some of you. Otherwise, this is just like sailing away into karma times, basically with or without this person is what I'm getting. Might be why you're taking some distance because you want to decide. Because um, the Three of Swords is here, so there's a bit of heartache um, connected to this person. This also can be third party, so again, that could apply for some of you. But this is also about like, you know, moving away from heartbreak, right? So you could be feeling like you want to just move away from anything that's kind of causing you pain. Um, let me get a little bit more, please, on the fool. I do feel like this person wants to take a leap with you, but it's taking too long. <laughs> okay, Aries, six of wands, and they want victory with you, okay? They want victory, but why is it taking so long, Spirit? Temperance card, Knight of Cups. Why is it taking so long? Why is this person taking so long? Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, for some of you, there's financial matters involved here. Okay, maybe this person just works a lot. Um, they're overworked. I can get a lot of Pentacles here, or there's financial matters so that, that you know they feel like they're not ready. I said that timing has been a factor, so maybe that it's all about money and finances and, and whatnot for them at the moment. Or you know they're a person that. It's like they have this love and affection for you, but they haven't been putting the work or the effort in, basically, okay? And that causes heart heartache for you. Um, because I am getting a three of cups, so I do feel like there could be some outside energies involved. Could be romantic or otherwise, as I said, it's not always romantic, but there could be some outside energies. Perhaps they don't give you their full attention, all right? It slows down the connection. With the eight of wands and the death card and the queen of swords, Aries, I think some of you are going to be doing a lot of communicating with this person in the first half of May, and it could be about you know potentially wanting to to end end the situation. And hey, you're in Queen of Swords energy, so Aries.
queer sword speaks her truth and it's almost like something has to end in order for things to begin because as I said I think that the way that things are it's like you feel like this isn't working it's taking too long you feel left out in the cold um, but communication for a lot of you is happening okay so even if you've taken maybe a step back from this person I think this person wants to communicate with you um, but you're going to be very much in your truth Aries okay you want to communicate your truth and say like something has to shift in order for things to move forward because like I said they do want future with you and I think they want to take the sleep towards you but I do see a lot of outside energies and distractions that are keeping the connection stuck hanging around and that's also you Aries is like one foot in one foot out kind of thing now we've got Scorpio energy with the death card a lot of pentacles so Capricorn Taurus Virgo um cuts I think I said Cancer Pisces Scorpio Virgo energy with the Hermit Swords Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles, wow, okay? But this person is a match for you, so I, I do feel like, Aries, that you are very committed to this person, even if you're not actually committed, you're committed to the idea of being committed with this person, and you guys could make a good match. I think that you're both very um, focused on, on, on work matters, on money matters, and, and this is kind of like a power couple, okay? So I think it's like powers combined. This is like an excellent match, right? But I do feel like, there is some stuff that's kind of interfering. I also have a Queen of Cups here, so I've got a King and Queen of Cups. So you're emotionally matching this person, and you're also um, you could have common goals, right? Um, but Page of Pentacles and the Emperor and the Tower. So, okay, so Aries, you could have someone, you could have this person coming in, like I said, and taking the sleep to make an offer that's going to be very surprising for you. Okay, with that Tower card. Um, it could shock you. <laughs> Maybe they're finally stepping up to the plate, okay? Because the Emperor card is someone that really puts in the work or the effort. Okay, this is also a husband and a father figure. So if that's what you have in mind, if that's what you're working towards, you know, um, having that long term and family, etc., this is a person that wants to put in that work or effort. And it could surprise and shock you because you could think that this has been taking so long and you're over it, and this person is going to come in and they're going to shock you, okay? Because I also have a King of Swords. So we've got, wow, guys, like three matches. We've got King and Queen of Swords, King and Queen of Cups, and King and Queen of Pentacles. So you're matching on three levels. King and Queen of Swords in good energy, uh, very honest and communicate and open, right? So I, and I think that this is what this person's coming in as. Um, when they're in bad energy, they fight okay, and bite each other's head off. Maybe that's what you've had before with this person. Um, because you know you just got fed up that things are taking too long and because there's interference etc um but this person's coming in to communicate for a lot of you as i said communication and king of swords is a communicator because they want ace of cups new love renew the love with you okay page of swords they're thinking and analyzing the situation a lot keeping tabs on you so even if you haven't if you're not speaking right now this person's like still keeping tabs or going through your messages or checking you out on social media or whatnot, okay? Um, yeah, let me get a romance angel. Romance angel, please, for Aries. Healing family issues, interesting, okay? So for some of you, the outside energies could be family stuff, um, you know, or maybe this person has some issues in relationships because of stuff that's happened with family, or maybe this person has a family, okay? And maybe that's like, the outside energies and, and financial obligations, okay? Separation. So I feel like a lot of you, that's the thing, you're considering maybe ending this or maybe this person needs to separate from something else. But I do feel like you and this person are sort of in a, a, a moment of separation anyway because of that five of pentacles energy, right? Um, and you're making a decision whether you want to separate altogether. But like I said, I think this person wants to come in and renew the love because you are lovable. You deserve love, right? Um, one more, please, Eric, for Aries. One more romance angel. What's this? Heart, oh, I can't make it up. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Honesty, right? So as I said, I think this person's coming in to talk to you and be honest and communicate with you. And I think you're going to be very much in that energy. You're going to be in Queen of Swords. Like you want to be honest. Um, and, and communicate about what's going on and how to move forward, right? Because new love, so this is about this like Ace of Cups renewing the love. But some of you, you may have your eye on a new love because you might also be fed up, <laughs> okay? So you might need to make a decision. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, okay? So that could be for some of you, um, you know, that you're kind of thinking about moving away from this person. Let's see. 
suffering and silence, a lot of suffering here, guys. Like I said, a lot of heartache and a lot of feeling left out in the cold. So it's time to end that cycle, right? It's a nine card closing out cycles. Patience and planning, well, that's that temperance energy. So this has been testing your patience. As I've said, passion ignited. Okay, so you have a new passion coming towards you. Um, I think this person wants to renew the love and the passion with you. Light, okay, so this is also illumination and um, clarity. There's a lot here around honesty and clarity, okay? And after being discontent and bored, <laughs> discontent and bored, which is four of cups energy, this is like emotional rejection. But also, this is like, you don't know if you want this cup anymore. Okay, Aries, that's what I'm getting. That's why you, Queen of Swords is very discerning. So you are in your logic mindset as well, kind of thinking about things um, and trying to decide what, whether you want to close this out and move forward with something new or whether this is worth your time. Okay, it'll be different for each of you. Um, all right, Aries, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I will check in with you in two weeks' time. Lots of love.